Hello and welcome to my guide to getting started in TSM4. Now TSM4 is currently in the closing stages of the beta program so some things may look slightly different to your version if you're watching this video later on. So in this series I'm going to talk about TSM4 and what it's all about, how it works and I'm going to run through everything from starting from scratch all the way to getting a whole load of groups set up and um, get yourself on the auction house. So what is TSM? TSM's Trade Skill Master. So it's basically an auction house and mailing and crafting replacement um, for the standard World of Warcraft interface. So I'm not going to go into all the details as to how to install TSM. I'm going to assume that you've already set up the app helper, you've got the add-on installed, you've got the desktop app running and that's got your server's data already loaded in and selected so you've gone through all the registration process So this is basically as if you had just loaded it up for the first time and I'm going to run through the various things I would look at in terms of the interface. So the main interface is up here in the little cog icon. You can see here you've got a dashboard, you've got all the news and information coming in here, you've got your summaries of everything you've earned over time. This will go up and up and up, hopefully. And then you've got a list here of all your groups. We'll get into this in a bit more detail later about groups and how they get set up. And then you've got here your ledger, which stores all your basically things you've sold and you can have a look and see a record of everything there. As you can see here, there's um, some stuff still to be implemented, but in your revenue, you'll get all the list of everything you've sold here. And this is a list of all your operations. These are the different types of operations you can do. We'll go through all of these in detail later. And then there's an import export. So you can import other people's strings and you can export your own strings to share with other people. And then here we've got the settings of various bits and pieces. And then when you come over here to the auctioning tab, you can see the auctioning tab is completely changed. As you can see here, I've got quite a few auctions already on. So you've got my auctions list hit, listed here. You've got your gold up at the top. Any incoming gold, as you've got, I've got three sold auctions that are coming in. So you've got the total there and what my posted auction value is. And then in the auctioning tab, you've got the items that are in your bags currently and the operation that they may be assigned to because it's just got the base group at the moment. You've got the shopping tab. So you can search for things on the auction house. And you've got the sniper tab, which is good for looking for certain bargains, either bid or buyouts. But we can get into that as a separate section in itself, really. You can always switch from the TSM interface to the standard World of Warcraft interface and then back again. So if there's something that you're not familiar with, you can always switch back and forth between the two. And then in the mailing, you've got, oh, if you're interested, this add-on is called Addy Bags, my bag add-on. I'll put a list of all the add-ons I'm personally using in the description below. And then here you've got the mailing. Again, you can switch between the standard one and the TSM one. And then you've got the ability to pick up all your mail here and filter it by sales, buys, cancels and expires. You've got the ability to send items to other characters. And then you can set up groups for mailing to automatically do quite a few other things as well. And here you've got a couple of options to just mail, automatically mail disenchantables to another character or send excess gold to the banker. And if I was to open a crafting window, in this case enchanting, then you'd see here I've got a list of all the things that I can craft, which is the same with the standard interface. You've got the same list here with all the stars of the ranks. You can switch between the two of them. And you can see the various things that you could craft, like here for the Binding of Haste, it tells you your rank, it tells you the profit that TSM calculates. If it's green, it's uh, a profit, and if it's negative, it's in red. It also very usefully tells you the sale rate down the side here. And then you've got the actual item itself here where you can look at the tooltip and look at all the information of the auctions that are on at the moment. And then you can see all the different uh, materials that are required. You can either queue those up or craft them directly from here if you've got the materials. And then there's also a groups tab where you can set up your groups for crafting and then use those group operations to automatically craft certain items. So for instance, I could queue that one up that's in my crafting queue here. And then you'd see here, I'm gonna make one of these. I'm missing um, some items that are in red. And then you've got the profit here and estimated profit. If I was to go into the gathering tab, then it would show me the items I need and where I could get them from. 
If I open the task list up, this is a separate window that pops up. It may look different in the final release, but this is the, the beta version at the moment, it's still being developed on. And here you've got the cooldowns and the various things that you've got reflected in this window, you've got reflected here, and then you can use the task list to be able to get them from the guild bank and collect things up that way. And then finally, you've got the crafting reports, which basically lists all your items that you can make and the, the value and the profit and the sale rate. And then you've got the materials, and there are some things here like uh, Blood of Sargeras which doesn't have a material cost at the moment as default so you'd have to watch out for those ones, you'd have to put those in manually. There's also a window that comes up when you're doing your banking and you can do warehousing operations and put in things to organise how your, how your items get moved around between your bank and your guild bank and other characters. The other main feature about TSM is its tooltip information. If I were to hover over one of my items like this Arcana, you can see TSM has given me a whole wealth of information from the uh, region database, uh, the price of the my market, the price of the region, and the crafting cost, and how many I've got. And this is the, this is the main thing about TSM. It's all about giving you information, and that information on the pricing of the items you're looking at and this will give you the idea as to whether you're going to sell something or turn it into something else and this is how you make your gold basically. So that's a quick run through of sort of the main features of TSM and how it integrates with World of Warcraft. I'm going to go through the settings in a bit more detail now because there's a few things that I like to have turned on myself. So in settings I like to have as much information as possible. So for me um, the more information you have, the, the more you can make decisions about uh, what you're going to do with certain items. So the main things I'm looking at here is to add more information on my accounting data. So I'd want maybe the market value, uh, the sale rate, and see how many have cancelled since I last sold something. Auctioning values, I'll turn those on to show me what my min, max and normal is. I'll turn on my crafting, so I'll want to see my material cost and I'll want to see the materials that that particular craft requires. I also like to go into the accounting data here and turn on use smart average for purchase price. That basically means that it will use the price of the things that you've got in your bags um, or in your guild bank as the average buy price of something um, as opposed to the historical um, price of something that you've maybe bought over several sort of days months or years so it's a more up-to-date version of just using the average of what you've got in your bags now there's a few interesting bits here you can do um, there's a lot you can do here between the default craft value method and the material cost method the only thing I do as a basic is just add in average buy into this. So this would basically do um, my material costs. If I'm buying a lot of my materials off the auction house, then I want uh, TSM to recognize the fact that I bought those materials and it will take those into account. So something I'd change here was go in to type in average AVG and then BUI for buy, put a comma in and a space and then press enter to make that happen. And this is the, one of the things with TSM, is once you put in a string, you always press enter. And if there's a problem with that string, it will come up here in your chat box and let you know that there was something wrong with it and why it was wrong. The other thing I would do would be to set up a macro for basically very easily posting things on and cancelling scans and buying things. What I use is the scroll wheel. I have control key held down for mine. You don't have to do it this way, but this is just how I have it set up and you update, I've got an existing macro already, but you'd create one here and I update that and basically that ties in a lot of the TSM operations to the scroll wheel of the mouse, which means I can just hold control down and scroll the wheel and TSM will very quickly go through operations. So this is a good way of really speeding up your, uh, your posting process, your canceling process and your crafting process. So now if we were to look at our tooltips, we've got a bit more information. We've got also the TSM auctioning values that it's calculated, and it's got the crafting costs as well as telling me what materials are involved in that and the price of those, and then what TSM thinks the material cost is. So again, it's more information. I can look at all of these values and decide what I'm going to do with this item, and I can also see how TSM is calculating various things and then make my own decision as to whether I'm going to use that value or adjust it myself. 
So the main thing here is TSM gives you all the tools you need to be able to put your items on the auction house uh, quickly, easily, efficiently and for a really good price. So if you want to just use TSM in its basic form, you don't really need to bother with anything else. All you'd have to do is run up to the auction house, right click on that, select your base group, so it's highlighted there like that, and then you'd run a post scan and it would look at everything in your bags, put the default operation on them and tell you what it thinks it would sell for. So here you can see TSM's done a scan of everything that's in my bags. Then I can go through and decide whether I want to sell this or not. Um, I could go through maybe sell this bear tartare if I want. It tells me here it's going to post this is the bid price, this is the buyout price, and it's going to do five individual ones of one. And so and it's going to post it for 24 hours. And if you're happy with that, you can change any of these if you want. And then you could click post or you can click skip if you don't want to sell that and skip through these I'm not actually going to post any of these on then once you're done you close that down and you go away and you carry on playing and then next time you've got a lot of stuff you can throw it back on the auction house and then collect it all in the mail once it's sold that's the simple version of using TSM it's very easy but um, the true power of TSM comes in setting up groups and doing specific things with your items and setting up specific operations to sell them at the best price possible and making sure that you can make the best use of your materials and that you can set up crafting operations so that once something's sold you can automatically restock on those items. There's so much more you can do with TSM so this is just the beginning but if you just wanted to throw your auctions on and get a decent price and undercut everyone else the default settings will get you started. So that's a basic rundown of TSM4 and how it integrates with World of Warcraft and all the various features of it. So in the next video I'm going to talk about setting up groups and how you might start using TSM a bit more in depth and customizing it to your own particular needs. So until next time, happy gold making and I'll see you soon.